Hi guys, this is Vince from Dili Philippines. So today po, uh, we're going to show you kung gaano po ka simple and convenient i-configure or install ang ating cover 1100 series mesh router. Okay? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to download an app. Okay? This is called uh, D-Link uh, Wi-Fi app. And it is available on both uh, App Store and uh, Google Play Store. So, uh, pwede, pwede po tayong gumamit ng iOS or Android-based uh, na phone. Okay? So, once na ma-download po natin siya, is uh, very important po itong put installation guide, is kailangan po natin kumunek sa default uh, Wi-Fi network ng uh, cover system po natin. Okay? So, ang una po natin gagawin is to power up the device. So, it doesn't matter po kung ano sa device ang ating uh, gagamitin. So, ipapower on lang po natin siya. Next thing that we need to do is to power on the mesh device. So, again, it doesn't matter kung uh, this one or this one po yung gagamitin natin. Pwede po siya magpalit. So, plug it in and uh, make sure you press on the power button. And uh, you see here an LED light. Okay, so red light it's, uh, it means it's establishing. Okay, and uh, go get your uh, Ethernet cable or UTP cable. Okay, and make sure po na nakakonek siya sa internet port. Okay, sa internet port ng device po natin. Okay, internet port. Then, any uh, provider, uh, gagana po ang device natin. Just make sure na meron po tayo uh, LAN port na pagkakabitan. So, uh, modem, modem router, uh, DSL fiber, as long na merong LAN port na may internet is pwede po siyang mag-work. So, kakabit lang po natin sa LAN port. Okay. So, just imagine this is your uh, router or uh, modem from your internet service provider think uh, Wi-Fi app okay so the next step is we need to make sure na connected po tayo sa default uh, SSID or Wi-Fi network name ni uh, cover uh, 1100 natin so saan natin siya makikita uh, you can uh, see the name of the default Wi-Fi and the password on the quick installation guide Okay? And also, at the bottom part of the uh, device itself. So, dyan, makikita natin yung name ng Wi-Fi. So, gawin na po natin. Uh, punta lang ako ng Wi-Fi settings. Okay? And I look for the name D-Link 72FF. Okay? So, ito po siya. Okay? And the password, uh, just put in yung password po ng default network. join the network okay so once connected na po tayo is uh, irarun na po natin yung uh, mobile app natin so dealing wifi again the QR code is still here okay and also at the bottom okay or you can manually uh, put in the model number so select uh, the cover wifi system select the model that you are installing so our case it's cover 1102 so select it and uh, next lang po okay. so set up uh, a new network uh, as you can see dito po ipapakita din po yung uh, connection na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina so kailangan lang po i-connect siya sa modem natin and uh, kailangan daw i power of yung uh, modem so just next and connect it to the LAN port so nagawa na po natin yung kanina okay and power on the modem okay so now the device is uh, booting up so it will take uh, a few minutes okay so ready for uh, the configuration okay so once the LED lights is already blinking orange so, sa atin is uh, nagbiblink na po siya. Okay. Blinking orange na po siya. So, i-click click next na po natin. Okay. So, 
next. So, kung makalit na po siya sa device. Okay. So, here, uh, it will give you a default of list of uh, internet uh, service provider. So, in our case, we'll just choose others. Okay, then click next. So, internet username and password. Usually, sa Philippines po, no? Ang gamit lang po natin is dynamic or DHCP. So, no, we don't have a username and password. So, create your own network. Uh, dito po, uh, we can customize uh, the name of the Wi-Fi. Uh, pwede natin ilagay dito. So, we can identify, no? So, pwede natin ilagay. Uh, cover. 11002. Okay, and... Uh, password okay, so sample password lang po, no? and the device password if ever you uh, need to access the GUI of this device uh, you can put uh, any password so I just put here uh, default uh, admin And make sure to uh, keep my device up to date so it will automatically uh, give uh, firmware upgrade. So lastly, uh, you'll have like a summary of the settings like uh, your ISP, the device password, the Wi-Fi name, and the Wi-Fi password. Just save it. Okay, so uh, it will uh, save the settings and your uh, device will uh, boot up. So uh, my device is uh, still uh, booting up, but as you can see here po, no, uh, nag uh, white na po yung light ng cover po natin. So meaning it's already uh, been configured. Okay, so let's wait for the app to finish. Okay, so uh, Dilik Wi-Fi wants to join. Uh, so ito po yung niname natin ano cover eleven zero two. So join po tayo. So, uh, it will ask you to, uh, if you want to register uh, cloud service for right now, just uh, click on not now. Okay. And actually, we're done. Uh, we already configured the Cover 1100 uh, series uh, device. Okay. And uh, the next question is, uh, paano kung uh, yung second device natin? So, once this is configured, all you have to do is plug in the second uh, mesh device that you have okay, so power on lang po natin siya okay and this device will uh, boot up okay as you can see it has a uh, red led light uh, let's wait for it to communicate uh, with this one As you can see here, uh, place the remain, uh, remaining device where you think you need the Wi-Fi most. Okay? So, ito, pwede na po natin siyang i-connect or i sa location na gusto natin extend pa yung Wi-Fi network natin. So, na-power na na -power on ko na siya. Okay? And just click next. Okay. So, success. The status of the LED light should uh, lit up uh, solid white. So, next lang po natin siya. And done! So, mapapansin po natin itong second uh, cover natin is white na rin po yung LED lights niya. So, meaning uh, the two of them are now communicating or they are already meshed together. So, they are on a single network na po. So, ang next step po natin is pwede na po natin siyang i-unplug. No? And hanapan na natin siya ng uh, proper place sa bahay po natin kung nasaan po ang dead spot. Just, kailangan lang po natin i-make sure na nakakasagap pa rin po siya ng uh, Wi-Fi device dito po sa main uh, mesh router natin. And this one po, this one should always be wired via Ethernet cable sa ating uh, main Internet uh, provider. And as I mentioned earlier, pag kulang pa po yung coverage ng dalawa na to, so since this is a mesh device, you can add 
okay, additional uh, mesh device to your network okay, to give you a much uh, further or more coverage sa network po natin. Okay? So, once again, uh, this is Vince from D-Link Philippines. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, watch out for more D-Link uh, videos. Thank you!